Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's vlog. So we're back in the engine bay. Those who have been following our channel will know that um, we've got to do some alterations in this engine bay for our engine. These engine beds were put in for the original engine we were going to have and now we've got to change it. We've got to cut some bits out and add some bits in. Um, but we're not going to do that, we're going to get the experts in this time. Let's explain a little bit more as we go along, um, but for now we've got Connor here doing the grinding and welding. For those who don't know the reason why I've had to change uh, engines, this will be a quick recap. The original engine we had was going to be a Beta 43. But because of supply chains and, and etc like everything else in the world at the moment we've had to go for a canal line 42 and to do that um, you see here that Connor's grinding out the tops of the engine beds this is because the flywheel on the new engine sits wider so there isn't enough room to actually fit it in that opening where the where Connor's got his foot at the moment so he's having to take a section of that away and also then add pieces front and back on either side so that the engine mountings can go straight onto those and he's put like um, gussets onto those so it's, there's plenty of strength in there and he's using the same 10mm steel as the engine beds are originally. So sit back and watch a really hard job made to look easy. See the two old men stand around talking while they let the young one do it. So that's the only bit to be cut away from the original um, engine beds. The rest is uh, all bits that are going to be added on. 
and Connor's partner in crime, Jim, has been making those in his workshop. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's right then, isn't it? So that's them all prepared and ready to be welded in. After breakfast they'll be back.
How you going? Yeah, not bad. I'm the last one. Wicked. For real? Yeah. I'll make you a drink when you're ready. It's oh, a shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've yeah, got that one to weld. Then just clean the welds off on top. The Brilliant. Then that's it then. It's over to yeah. Ian then. Just off to do a little bit of work of his and then coming back just to clean them up, grind them off um, and neaten it all up. Time for a bit of extreme hoovering now by an expert. So just getting the majority of this up so I'm not treading it in. You'll see in a minute there's more mess to be made in there before we actually have a final tidy up. So before we paint the floor, I thought it was time to get the holes cut for the electrics and all the uh, pipes from the engine and the diesel heater going to the clarifier. The, the thing's on fire. Take two. So now it was a, a bit of shift work um, to get all this cleaned so up again. Shift. Yeah, yeah. Shift. shift. All right. <laughs> Once we've got it down to sort of a nice smooth finish getting all the little bits off and uh, clearing any rust bits we uh, use some aqua steel yeah that's the word aqua steel um, and this just turns the rust back to steel I'm not sure if it actually turns yeah, it to I think steel it just prevents any further rust yeah. it just makes it go hard doesn't it and yeah. solid so we just we just used all that and you can see it's brushes on white but later on you'll see as it starts to react and work it turns it black
so it's been 24 hours since we put the aqua steel on and you can see like black areas on the base um, the base was sort of like covered in little tiny little spots where the the welding had sort of splashed on there yeah. I don't know what you call it do you no. splatter yeah. something like that um, so you can see that it's actually worked there now Aid is putting the uh, uh, red oxide is it a primer? Red oxide primer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not what's on the side of the boat. That's an actual top coat. It's just it's the same colour, so it gets a bit confusing. So we get all the new steel covered in covered in the primer. We're not going to bother putting any new primer um, on the base we're just doing it on the big areas of steel and we just keep fingers crossed that we're doing the right thing and then where we've cut the holes putting some stuff on there So to give you all a little bit of a break from what's been happening in our engine bay, we're just going to show you what's been happening around us. Uh, over the last couple of days we've had uh, a lot of boat movement and uh, we've lost all our neighbours and friends that everyone's left us. We're not taking it personal, right? <laughs> but, yeah. but it's worked out perfect timing because there's a big gap now for when we have to have our engine put in yeah um which is uh in a moment hopefully yeah, yeah so so this has worked out really well but mikey who's been next to us um he's been doing his boat for a few years um has gone into the water and he's making his way up the canals so he's nearer home uh to finish his refit or build i should say yeah yeah um yeah, so we're we're a bit lonesome at the moment. It's always fascinating watching how they move these boats, um, whether it be on the slings or the um, trailer. It's just quite amazing how they do it, yeah. um, and it all seems to go so smoothly and quick and yeah. and that. It's, uh, watching them reverse it in is a bit of an art, isn't it? Really, when if anybody's ever tried to reverse a trailer it's not the easiest thing in the world to do but yeah they do make the job look easy yeah and going into the water as well looks uh, quite amazing way. yeah how easy it goes in let's just hope ours is as easy as that so we wish you all the very best mikey and uh, i'm sure you'll be fine hope you uh, get down to northampton way where you're heading for i'm sure we'll catch up sometime on the cut so now we've got all this space to get our engine in. I wonder where or who is going to go Next in that to us. space. Yeah, yeah. neighbours. So we're using the grey T Mac bilge paint, the same as what we originally used on the floor. Um, it works really well, it covers really well, and we want to try and get two or three coats on at least, really. Um, we don't know if, we're doing this when the engine's in. Yeah. So, yeah. That we'll just keep using it until our paint's gone yeah. and uh, hopefully we'll never have to do it again.
yeah, that's filthy there, you see, but want some more turps in it. If I just can. No granddads were harmed in this uh, next bit of this video. It's really dirty there, isn't it? Footprints. Have you ever seen a bloke paint himself into a corner? Yeah. <laughs> Have you been practising uh, pirouetting on your points? All them ballet classes paid off, you see? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I can't wait to see you get to the end. I can't. <laughs> Once all the grave was finished, we did actually do all the red, um, not everywhere, not on the walls that didn't need it, but the some big area on the sides and on the flat bit. Um, we haven't got that on camera for some reason, so you'll just have to trust us. It's It was done. Now the hard bit. Balance on whatever you can balance on. <laughs> Go on, AD. <laughs> Go on, Grandad, you can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see a hair in there, one of my hair. Where now? It's all right, it's just been painted yeah. over. Yeah. I'm sure that don't matter under the engine bed. It does. It's there for prosperity. Yeah. First coat done. Oh. But how lucky are we with this weather? Be great if it stays like this to get the engine in and to get the rest of the painting done on the stern. I think we're pushing it now. What are we what are we in? December. No, <laughs> we're in October, but I don't know what the date is. 13th, 15th, 14th, something like that. Finished, all done. Now we've just got to wait for the exciting bit. Hopefully, you'll see that in the next couple of weeks. Fingers crossed. 